Ah, oh, yes. Good morning. Good day. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you might be. I'm going to talk a little bit about whose world this is. Whose kingdom is Earth? Who who is the ruler of Earth right now, and why are things the way they are? Now, I'm going to use a little words of the Lord Jesus Christ here to show you to, whose world this really is right now, and why. Okay, in Luke chapter 4, starting at verse 5, Jesus says this. The devil's tempting Jesus. Then the devil, taking him up on a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, All this authority I will give you and their glory, for this has been delivered to me, and I give it to whomever I wish. Therefore, if you will worship before me, all will be yours. And Jesus answered to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord the, your God, and him only shall you serve. Jesus is saying, you know, who, who gave this authority and who gave Lucifer all these kingdoms? He said, they're mine. I can give them to whoever I wish. Well, who gave them to him? God gave them to him for a reason. Now, we might not like that reason, but he did it for a reason. And let's go a little bit further here. In the book of John, John 18, starting in verse 36. He's been talking to Pilate. And Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight so that I would not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. See, this is Lucifer's world. We haven't had the thousand year millennial reign of Jesus Christ on earth, but we're getting ready to in chapter 20 of Revelations, where he establishes his kingdom of earth on earth for a thousand years. That is getting ready to happen. I'd say probably within the next... Yeah, eight years we're heading into the tribulation period now okay many people that come to the Lord and then they turn away from him because things aren't all rosy and fuzzy and there's still evil and wickedness and bad things happening and they just can't understand well why is this happening well they don't understand scripture because they don't read their Bible for one thing and if you read it listen to what Jesus says in uh, Matthew starting in verse 34 okay Jesus says this, Do not think that I came to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. I have come to set man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's enemies will be those in his own household. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take his cross and follow, follow after me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. See, Jesus didn't come now to bring peace. In fact, he says, I wish, he goes, I come to bring fire upon the earth and how I wish it was already kindled. Said, yeah, this is Lucifer's kingdom right now. That's why the all the evil and wickedness are right now. Many people don't understand this. Whose kingdom and who's actually in charge right now and whose world this is. Jesus even said, it's Lucifer's kingdom you're in. This isn't my world right now. You're in Lucifer's bosom. That's why all the evil and wickedness. All right, let's see what he says in Luke 12, 49. I came to send fire on the earth and how I wish it were already kindled. But I have a baptism to be baptized with and how distressed I am till it is accomplished. Do you suppose that I came to give peace on earth? I tell you, not at all, but rather division. For from now on, five in one house will be divided, three against two, and two against three. Father will be divided against son, and son against father, mother against daughter, and daughter against mother-in-law, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. See, he, he didn't come to bring peace yet. It's not his thousand-year millennial reign yet. That's in chapter 20 of Revelation. Chapter 20 of Revelation, starting in verse 4. The saints reign with Christ a thousand years. See, that hasn't happened yet. That's why all the evil and wickedness. You'd notice if it, it was. And I saw thrones, and they sat and they sat on them, and judgment was committed to them. Then I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the witness to the Jesus and for the word of God, who had not worshipped the beast or his image, and had not received his mark on their forehead or on their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. But the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he 
who has part in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. That has not happened yet. Have you seen a time on earth where there is nothing but peace, total peace, even the lamb laid down with the lion, child put his hand in the cobra's den? No, it, it's, it's not his kingdom yet. This is Lucifer's kingdom. And until the second coming of Christ, which is getting ready to happen real soon, then he's going to establish his thousand year reign on earth. Okay? Go read it for yourself, folks. That's why it's important to read the scriptures. There are instructions for us while we're here on earth. And that's about it. All right, have a blessed day and uh, adios now. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, uh,